are you still struggling with putting all those reference paper in citations in the research paper or in the thesis you are writing or are you still wondering how those graphs that you see in the research papers are actually made or do you have huge amount of data and you want it to want to interpret it in a manner easy to understand well you will find the answer to all your questions in this video reference managers there are a number of reference managers out there for example mendeley zotero etc these reference managers help make your work very easy when you are doing some project work where you, you have to deal with certain other papers you need to refer them or when you are writing a uh, you are writing a thesis be it for your phd your mtech project or even your btech project when you are actually writing you need to refer so many numerous papers and then uh, it becomes very difficult so these reference managers can actually help you save each and every paper very easily with the appropriate name and or their author names and then uh, you uh, it will help you by assigning each code to the papers that you have downloaded you can simply pick up those codes and copy and paste them in your document the citation will come on its own and even the reference will be added in the final reference lists at the last and you don't need to write it write each and every reference again and again uh, also so for example if you want to change the style of all the references all of a sudden because you are targeting some other journal now there is no need to uh, you know change the style of reference writing uh, you don't need to write one by one so you can simply go to the softwares mendeley and all and select whatever style you want for example howard or any other and all your references will on the, on its own be converted to that particular style next is the data analysis apps so uh, when you are processing huge amount of data as i already told be it your workplace or your mtech and all thesis where you have collected so much of data for giving a certain result or a certain analysis it it becomes very tedious to interpret it and you know we want to interpret it and make it in a form that could be very easily understood by the person who is reading it so uh, softwares like spss design expert mini tab and there are many more out there it can help you make your work easy so it can help you express your data in the form of mean median mode anova or you can apply certain tests like chi test t test anova etc and it can help you present your data in a mathematical forms and scientific forms like uh, lack of fit correlations regression etc and all this makes it very easily understood by the person who is reading and easy for you also to understand and write your results and conclusions on its basis so also uh, there are others like you know prism origin and many more you can explore them online there are, there is a lot more options and you can explore as per your uh, your need and as per what you find easy for you and uh, all these will also help you make graphs and uh, very uh, easy to understand graphs and pie charts and etc you can express it in all these forms uh, even making it more easy to understand and even interesting and even catching when somebody is reading your paper or referring to your paper so you can learn these softwares starting uh, even on youtube there are a number of tutorials out there trying to teach you any software you you know you might be looking for as per your need so you can go and start watching those videos and uh, start learning them and download them and get uh, friendly with them uh, also uh, you can start from the very basic ones to the very advanced ones also so from the very uh, basic one one very uh, uh, one software which has been overlooked by most of us is actually ms excel ms excel is actually very very easy to uh, understand but you know many of us actually don't uh, have not tried to ms excel can be used from very basic works to advanced works not only in your uh, college or school life but also in your workplace for example obviously if you're writing a thesis and all and you have so much of data you can refer ms excel to calculate anova or any other thing mean starting from basic mean median mode to advance things like anova expressing graph uh, graphical forms etc can also be done on ms excel even in your workplace it is going to help you in almost all aspects of your career for example let's say you are in the r and d department and you are doing so many uh, you know uh, trials for your product new product so you can use ms excel to jot down all that data and do statistical analysis for the same or if you are let's say in the quality department and you want to note down the data of which a lot has been tested which lot has been rejected all these kinds of data uh, how much chemical you are left with all this can be noted down on ms excel 
if you are in the supply chain department, let's say, and you you have to you want to keep a track of how much material to order from the uh, you know uh, from uh, from the supplier or how much to send to the consumer how much has been sent yesterday if you want to check all those things so a track of all these things can again ms excel can be used for it even in your uh, production department if you want to calculate the machine hours required manpower required or how much units have been produced in a day ms excel helps you in all these things starting from very basic ones to advanced one and for again learning MS Excel, you can start by watching YouTube videos or there are a number of courses out there. You will get all kinds of courses starting from basics of MS Excel to advance of MS Excel. Whatever you want to learn depending upon your need, you can start as per that. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel. Also, we would like you to drop in the comment section the videos you might like Foodemy to do in future. Thank you.